Um, great Ice Blade of the Monarch. An Ice Blade of the Monarch. Brackets Great Sword. That's not very helpful, but I think this is what we need. I think the the parentheses Great Sword is added by some sort of mod. That's not supposed to be there. Yeah, type is now sword. And it is wielded in one hand. Yes. Oh, I love the glowy effect on it as well and everything. It's so cool. I, again, pun not bloody intended. I, I really need to stop that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Well, we are in your Vasco, as you can quite plainly see. Um, with uh, Merisine and Rhea. Yeah, they're just still hanging around, following us about. Will be for the foreseeable future, I think. Um, they don't talk much, which um, I actually like. So, you know, no sign of Roderick. He still hasn't made an appearance. I've no idea where he's gone. And, uh, frank, quite frankly, I don't care at this point. Check it out. Look, it even has, like, a glowing frost effect on it. You see that? The frost coming off it. As well as the glowing runes on the hilt. I love this sword so much. I have improved it. It's now epic level. I don't know if that's the same as the hammer. I think the hammer might be legendary. Yeah, and it's legendary. Whereas this is epic, which I think is a step down from legendary. I must have forged that while I had some sort of buff to my smithing active. Because uh, apparently epic is the best I can do at Skyforge. But um, hey-ho, whatever. As you can see, it does significantly less damage. 167 versus 212. However, it does attack much faster. And it also does 40 points of frost damage. And it has a chance to freeze a target for 10 whole seconds. And slows the target's moving speed for 10 seconds as well. So it's it's ridiculously good. Um, and yes. I can deal wield it with, the, with my hammer. And I'm going to do so. Obviously I've still got my shield. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal wield these, these, these puppies for a while. And see how I get on. It should be fun. Uh, in addition, I have... It's been a day, obviously, since before. Um, we've slept, eaten, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Um... And also, I have I've done some spring cleaning of my inventory. As you can see, I'm now, I'm now carry my carry weight is now four three one out of six oh four. Um, I made some interesting discoveries in the process. Actually, one I have possibly half of all the gemstones in the whole of Skyrim. Like holy crap, I have a lot of gemstones. Um, in addition, I discovered I had. Like, a few interesting things. Like, for example, I have a scroll called the Scroll of Wolfskin or something, which gives me, like, extra, like, a huge buff to my exposure resistance. So next time I'm running around in the snow shouting, Help! Help! I'm going to die! I can use that. Um, and it will prevent me from dying of hypothermia for much longer, which is nice. Um, I also discovered that I have, so, ha, or had, past tense, so many scrolls that they accounted for a huge portion of my carry weight. I had just, ever since day one of playing Skyrim for this Let's Play, I had been picking up scrolls and never dropping them. Foolishly thinking in my head, they don't weigh anything. As it turns out, they do. They each weigh like half a kilo or half a pound or whatever the arbitrary unit of measurement is each. And I had probably something in the region of 50 or so. So, yeah, that was like 25 points of weight just, boom, gotten rid of by dropping all the um, all the scrolls, which I never used anyway. I've only kept two, the scroll of wolfskin and the scroll of ebony flesh, because that one gives you a humongous armor bonus and also fire resistance bonus and physical resistance bonus. So I figured that I might actually bother to keep, especially if I run into a fire dragon or something. So, yeah, yeah, not bad. When the Empire surrendered to the ordinary Dominion, they shamed us all. Why don't we still let him in here? Um, You're someone who can get things done. I like that. You are damn right, madam. I get shit done. I am Claudius gets shit done 
That's like my middle name and my last name. Um, right, and your presence has just reminded me. I need to give you something, Mirasine. Um Assuming I still have it somewhere. Completely forgot. I genuinely am not 100% sure where it was I put it, but we'll see if it's there. And if I can't remember, then I'm going to have to go and have a think. By which I mean watch previous videos and try and remember. <laughs> is it in here? Uh, yes, it is. Blood and fire, fire and blood. Um. Why does this dialogue option keep resetting itself as if I've not used it before? That's twice we've spoken about that. Keep it light. The one advantage we have is our speed. You? I'm giving a Christmas present. A very early Christmas present, nevertheless. You're... Death to dragons. It's more of a loan, really, to be honest. But yes, you are... Um, you're going to be... Safekeeping Oriel's bow for now. So uh, be, be, be gentle with it. I think it might be a little bit fragile, but still... Um, you're all about the fire and burning and, uh, and and all that sort of thing and and the bows. So I figured, what better person to use it? I mean, possibly Ayla, but uh, you're the one that's following me around at the minute. So what, it's not good. It's not doing any good set in Ayla's inventory. As she sits around here drinking ale all day. So you're gonna you're gonna take it for now. And also because if I ever need to use it, then I can just grab it off you. So. If I ever get another bow, I might give my old dragon rend one to, uh... Oh! Actually. Actually, I should totally give dragon rend to Mirasine, shouldn't I? You adorable little dragon slayer. You, you, would, you would make very good use of that bow. Holy crap, that would actually be epic. I'd have an NPC companion that could bring dragons down with a dragon run bow. That would be so... Assuming it works when an NPC uses it, I don't know. Sometimes magic effects don't work when it when they're used by NPCs, but if it did, that would be so cool. Like, really, really cool. Anyway. So... Thank you. Um, you may be wondering, uh, where, where are we going? What are we doing? Also, I need to go here and fill up my uh, water skins. Um, what we are doing... Is because... We... Um, I can't... I don't, I, I don't have any information on other artifacts we could go looking for. To aid us in our troubles. Our struggles against the King of the Dragons. Um... We're going to go do something I probably should have done ages ago, which is apparently Claudius is bloody peckish again. I think I've spoken at length before about how he's a fat bastard, but good grief. Um, we're going to High Hrothgar. We are going to ascend the however many thousand steps it was. I've genuinely forgotten by this point. Um, and go to High Hrothgar. Have a little chat with the Greybeard, because it's been quite some time, has it not? Again, like I said, we probably should have done this a long time ago, but... I've been busy! Saving the world from other various short-term threats, as it turns out. Oh, apparently people are getting mad at me for not, not... Having a look at this horse. It's not my horse. People seem to think this is my horse that's respawned here or something. No, it's not. It's just a random horse. The worst thing about backseat gaming is backseat gaming that's that's wrong. It's the worst kind, it really is. I'm gonna just I hate that icon at the bottom there. I just get rid of it. Really? Was that not enough? God, you hungry pig, Claudius. My goodness, you had breakfast like just before. I hit the record button earlier. Good heavens. How much have we got right now, food-wise? We've got four water skins. I was carrying seven. Dropped the other three, because I don't think we need them. Um, to save more carrying weight. Um, we got two apples, two hawker loaves left. Two tomatoes, two cheese wheels, boar meat and bread. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine for now. 
Um, should be more than fine, really, but the, the rate at which Claudius goes through food is kind of astonishing, so... Mind you, I guess he burns a lot of calories, to be fair. Um, I think... So. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I think some people have been patiently asking for many episodes now to, for me to check what Claudius' pumping iron stats are. It's currently 91 out of 100, so yeah, he's pretty hench. He's sort of like Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilder levels of, of hench right now at this point. What is it? He's come here to slay Alduin the World Eater and take all of the protein. Right, so I think the best way to do this is probably to go this way and then take the shortcut past the mountain to get to Iverstead. And then from Iverstead, we'll obviously ascend the steps, which I'm looking forward to. It's been too long. It really has. Ascending the old steps to High Hrothgar is one of the, the parts of this game that to this day I still feel a little bit nostalgic for, actually, to be honest. I mean, you know... This game will never hold a special place in my heart the way the way Morrowind does, purely just because that's the way nostalgia works. However... What the heck? Okay. Um, who are you? Try not to set anything on fire, all right? Said the vigilant of Stendar. Are you out here slaying undead? The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. You hunt Daedra. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But I see. Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Well, I won't disagree with you there. None escape the vigil. All come into the light. Bit of a fanatic, but I must admit, the Daedra are indeed dicks. Am I going the right way? I'm trying to think right now. It's a bit further past here, isn't it, right? Ah. Uh, hello, Mr. Bear. Um... Yeah, we have to go a bit further down here, and then there's the... Yeah, it's been a while since we've gone this way, so... <laughs> yeah, this sword really does attack much faster. It's actually a pleasant change. Although I'm going to need to start farming soul gems like mad to keep these things charged, it has to be said. Sword is so pretty, though! Mm, yes! Alright, come here then. Maybe you should take that armor away from you. You're getting more and more grim dark the longer you wear that stuff. Alright, I do believe we need to go up here. I'm I just want to check to see if any more storm cloaks have moved in. <laughs> also, I didn't mean to do that. Um Um, I forgot how derpy the two two hander animations are. I know there's a mod that fixes that. Don't bother me about it. Hello, <laughs> gents. How you doing? I got a new toy. I want to try it out on you traitorous rebel bastards. Oh yeah, see, look, it froze him. That was cool. Wow. Okay. May have not have been paying attention to my health bar. <laughs> I was kind of focusing on the gore too much. Um, also, that was a huge sword. Where is this dumped us? Oh, of course it's dumped us here. Oh my god. <sighs> is there anywhere I could quickly fast travel to? Um, oh, yeah. Like there. Sorry, guys. I'm just, um, you know... It's, it's either this, or I have to cut the recording and walk there 
and I don't have time this evening in order to get this video up tonight, so we're... Whoa. Oh, hey! You decided to join us! Well, at least the weather's a lot nicer now. Whoa. Okay, not being able to block is a big deal, it would seem. Wow, it's almost a little bit startling, to be honest with you. It's been ages since I've been out here in the immediate area around Whiterun, and it's actually been sunny. Is there something in the water that makes the wolves here crazy? It's like they have a suicidal bloodlust. I'm actually secretly not very happy he's here. Where did you go? And why are you back to bother me again? Alright, well, this lot I dealt with. Keep out of my damn hold. Get the message. Oh god. Roderick, we need we need a timeout, my friend. Where is he gonna go? Oh, he's probably just gonna. Oh, I guess it's back to the fun house for me. Or back to wherever it is you've been hiding these last few days. Right. Oh, this oh, should yes. be good. Time for the real fun. Yeah, that troll didn't stand much of a chance. Well. Guess it's the old sword and board then, for now. This is weird. It's not cloud in the sky right now. I'm not used to this. Normally it's cloudy and horrible out here. I don't really know why either. I'm beginning to suspect it might be a bug. But, um, apparently fast traveling fixed it. Peculiar. That does, sometimes does, actually. Fast traveling, weirdly enough, it, it does fix a lot of things. As you as you may have noticed, it also fixed Roderick. Um, <laughs> but obviously when you almost never fast travel, you tend not to notice. This was a nice scabbard as well. Also, we've gone the wrong way. Ah! Back this way. Also, Claudius, apparently you need to eat again. Oh, wait, it's because I didn't eat earlier. We're in an alternate timeline where Claudius didn't have any additional second breakfast on his way here. We need to go up this way. That's the whole point of being over there in the first place. Just casually strolling back. This way, see? Yeah, see, it, genuinely, it's weird it being this sunny. No word of a lie. Keep up, honestly! Don't worry, I'm sure as we cross through here, the weather will change. But, uh, yeah, I'm still, I've got to admit, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I took for granted the fact that the weather was constantly crap all the time. Now it's not all of a sudden. It's peculiar. What can I say? Perhaps it's a good omen. It's a portent of things to come. The game just looks so much prettier as well when it's sunny. Heck of a view. Look at that. Oh yeah, no, here comes the clouds. Still. If you watched my recent Morrowind video and you remember that, that, that little rant, ramble I had about the way provinces are laid out and the terrain and stuff, this is a great example. Like, we can see Whiterun from here, but Whiterun's not really that far away. But you will notice the terrain is is built up in such a way here 
that it deliberately masks us from being able to see any other parts of the province. So, I mean, I can't see Windhelm from here. I can't see Dawnstar. I can't see Solitude up in that direction. Obviously, I can't see anything this way. Um, it's clever. It's clever. But as I said, the, the problem the, with, the way, with, the, with the way they kind of designed it in this game is that in order to get from place A to place B, there's only like two or three routes you can take. This being one of them, for example, if we want to get to Iverstead from Whiterun, there's three ways to do it. Either you go down that way, down the river, and then go around, which is kind of a longish way. You've got the slightly shorter way where you go down around via Helgen, and then you've got this shortcut where you go up through the mountain here. And those are the only three ways of getting from Whiterun to Iverstead, really. Um, so, you know, clearly designing these games is obviously uh, quite difficult. <laughs> I can see it right up there, High Hrothgar. And I've gone the wrong way again, but it, uh, it, it is amusing. First time I... I've said this before plenty of times, this, this stupid little anecdote, but the first time I did play Skyrim's main quest, I tried to get to High Hrothgar going this way. I just tried to... I went all the way around the mountainside trying to... <laughs> trying to climb up the slope the hard way. It took me forever until I finally realised you had to go to Iverstead. Because obviously I wasn't using quest markers. Just kept trying to shimmy my way up there as if it were as if I was playing Morrowind, you know, trying to get up Red Mountain. Admittedly, I got quite far up actually. I got pretty damn far up, and I actually found a few cool things up there. There's like a, I think around there somewhere around the mountainside, there's like a there's a ruin with a Wisp Mother guarding it and stuff like that. And uh, never would have found that if I if I'd done it the sensible way. Admittedly, so. I genuinely couldn't tell you where it is either. Like, I got so lost in the process of trying to get up there that I genuinely don't know where that ruin is now. I couldn't go back and find it if I wanted to right now. I don't know where it is. It's just up on the mountainside somewhere. In a virtually inex inaccessible place. <laughs> the ghost just like, oh shit, it's the fuzz. Run. <laughs> I also had like 99 snowberries in my inventory, which I uh, dumped at least two thirds of. Whoa. Sick view, bro. Look at that. Nice. I love the haze effect, by the way, in, in the distance there. That's. I'm pretty sure that's exclusively from the ENB that I'm using. I'm pretty sure that's added by the ENB, because sometimes if I accidentally launch the game without running the ENB injector first, you can immediately tell the difference, because the distant terrain doesn't look nearly as pretty without it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that! It's so good! This is why I like coming this way, because you get incredible views on both sides. It's also quicker, admittedly, but still, you also get a better view. I never noticed you could interact with that before. Just noticed as well they've in, they've animated the, the padlock. See that? <laughs> How many hours have I played this game? How many? And I still haven't noticed that. I guess this is why these games have so much replay value, huh? Even now, even now, after all this time. I'm still occasionally noticing something new. Now, I believe there's a troll or two living around here. Oh, some Imperials. 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna have to kill this, this troll before you guys run into it and it kills you all. I think it lives along here. They keep coming back all the time. Yeah, here we go. Hello, sir. Whoa. Ooh. Fancy finisher moves. Ah, yes. These are the trolls that keep killing storm cloaks. <laughs> Forgot about that. Alright, nearly there. It's just up here. What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Random dead rabbit rolling down the hill aside. I thought I heard a dragon, but I don't think I did. I'm going mad. I'm actually paranoid. I'm hearing dragons where there are no dragons. People of Iverstead, your saviour has returned. Very briefly. Oh god, it's this guy. Yeah, I'm not talking to you, Daraki. Can I help you? Am I supposed to know who you are? I don't remember you. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be taught? Like any skill? Good question. The normal rules don't apply to me. I, I, I'm, I've come to understand. Oh yeah, that was the Baron with the lunatic drinking the invisibility potions in. What's up with your eyes, dude? What do you want, Imperial? To which shrine are you headed, Pilgrim? Which shrine? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to them all. Yes, yes, one at a time. Until I've uh, visited all the shrines to all the gods in Skyrim. <laughs> you're no pilgrim, are you? I beg your pardon, sir. I don't know what you're getting at, but whatever it is, it's not appreciated. Got my eye on you. You do anything out of the ordinary, and I will be back. Right. What's going on with the ground there? Has it always been like that? Right, anyway. There's 7,000, right, 7,000. I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> That's how long it's been. Ah, right. It's a bit of a trek up here, ladies, but, um... And there's a few wolves and bears along the way, if I recall. However, it's the only way to get up there, so we're going to do it. And I will look at the shrines as we go, because it's just been that long and I want to. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Could it indeed? I have seen no evidence to indicate that in all my time using the voice, but who knows. 
I can knock goats off of mountains, and that's sort of the extent of my powers, I'm afraid. <laughs> How's your pathfinding doing? Are you both managing? Just about, yeah. It's also really chilly up there, by the way. And there's usually some freezing rain along the way too, so brace yourselves. Sorry, I'm being quite quiet, but it's just because I'm enjoying the epic music and the view. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Oh, yeah. It's going to start getting chillier in a minute. You can tell because the music's changed, you see. Yeah, and you've, you've just put your hood on as well, both of you, so... <laughs> Probably do the same. Uh, there we go. been attacked by a single ice wolf yet this is positively strange I wonder if we'll meet the uh, the obligate aha an ambush was it not today friend how cunning of you <laughs> Ah, uh, lulled me into a false sense of security before striking. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Um... Am I able to drop gold coins? I'm not, am I? Drop one of these instead. There we go. What? What is it? What have you spotted? It's got you all spooked. Why are you not using Oriel's bow? That is an ancient relic. A legendary artifact passed down through thousands of years and you're using your stupid wooden thing instead. I don't know. Also, what are you both doing? There's nothing here. Give it up, honestly. Oh. What the? Okay, fine. I will not doubt you next time. Note to self, when the faithful bodyguards get, get all spooked by something, maybe I should actually pay attention. Thanks. Alright, thanks. I was an idiot, you were right, I was wrong. Let's move on. Where even are we right now? We must be on like, the southern side of the mountain. That's the only place I can think of where there's other mountains right next to you. It 
this this right here, this whole area with just mountains and nothing else. This is like this is this is proper uncharted like icy wasteland, isn't it? Really, all this here. I'd like to have a house, a castle, even some sort of fortress of solitude built on the side of one of those mountains over there. That's what I'd like. I can retreat there and then have nobody ever bother me because they would have to go through so many perils to actually even get to my front door. <laughs> Kain called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon wars rage. Dragon against tongue. Yes, Parthenax, this leader of the Greybeards, who in all this time I still have not been permitted to see. He apparently lives alone up on the top of the mountain, for some reason. Your guess is as good as mine as to why. And we're thirsty, it would seem. And that was not enough. I'm feeling well hydrated. Good. Good. Well, there's one ice troll. Normally there's one over here. But, um, maybe we've already killed the ice troll that's supposed to be here. I think he went out for a walk or something. Oh, no, there we go. I seem to remember one of your predecessors, the first time I came here, being utterly terrifying and extremely difficult to kill. And now you know nothing more than a nuisance. That's progression for you. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was, but their, that, that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. More epic views. What is that down there? I think it's. Oh, that's Helgen, isn't it? That's Helgen down there. I thought it was, I was going to say it was a random fort, but it actually had thatched roofs around it, so it could only be Helgen. And hello, that's Blake Paul's Barrow down there, Lake Illinalta, Helgen, the old pass down there into Cyrodiil. Would that be? What's the name of the pass? Uh. What were the Akiviri ruins on the other side of it? Back down in Syria. I can't remember what it's called now. It's part of a quest in Oblivion and I can't remember it. Might be on the map, actually. Pale Pass! Yes, that was the one. Actually, it's not. Pale Pass is over here. I was looking at this one. That leads into Hammerfell. Pale Pass. Yes, I remember. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer. Founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Until now, it would seem. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Yes, there is such a thing as a little bit too much faith, unfortunately. Also, you were fighting three living gods, and that's got to suck, let's be honest. Jürgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the calm... Well, it doesn't sound very calm. Um, <laughs> if he shouted down 17 disputants. Um, Jürgen the calm built his home on the throat of the world. That would be the place we're about to enter. Wow. 
Wow, yeah, you can see a long ass way from here. So far that the distant view is starting to clip horribly in the left side of the screen. <laughs> Let's try and ignore that, shall we? <laughs> There's, there's the tea man himself up there. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septim. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Dragonborn. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Voice of the sky added. Little bonus you get for doing all of the uh, emblems. Forget what it does exactly. Animals will neither attack nor flee from you. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, what? What's the matter? This mountain. It reminds me of another. Fire and death wait at its peak. Be careful you don't get burned. Uh, come on, don't be. If you're planning on going on any further, then I'll be on my way. Are you serious? Turn all your enemies to ash. <sighs> Death to dragons. Do you want to wait just a bit further down or something then? If you're planning on going on any further, then I'll be on my way. This mountain, it reminds me of another. You're not going to throw a tantrum and leave for, for no reason, are you? Still here. Yeah, good. You lead, I'll follow. That's more like it. At least I can rely on you. I do know how to pick him, don't I? Mm -hmm. 